shouldn't have. I didn't. This was all Barney and Betty's idea. Aren't we lucky to have friends like them, Fred? Oh, there he is! There's my big, handsome son-in-law. <laughs> have you lost weight? Have we met? <laughs> Can I have everybody's attention, please? I got a little something I'd like to say. I hope it's not another poem. <laughs> Fred, Betty Bam Bam and I could not be happier, even if it was me that got that job. Mm -hmm. So we got you a little something just to show you how proud of you we are. Congratulations, big guy. Oh. Barney, I can't accept this. Sure you can. No, I can't. Take it back. Well, we can't, Fred. We had your initials branded on it. Yeah, it's yours, Fred. No, it's not. Fred, what's wrong with you? It's a lovely gift, and he is thrilled to receive it. Aren't you, Fred? No. Don't you like the color? It's not the briefcase. It's not the color. I just can't take anything from you. But, Fred... Take a hike, shorty. My Freddy doesn't want that turkey thing. How come, Fred? Because you can't afford it, Barn. <laughs> Sure I can, pal. Not anymore. You're fired. Fired? Well, let's not let a little thing like this spoil the party. Conga line. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Fred. I've been working in that quarry since it was only eight feet deep. Atta boy! There could be a whole new world opening up for me. And maybe I'll take in that franchise show this weekend. That's the spirit. Thanks. Hey, Fred, there's just one thing I gotta know. After all these years, how come they're canning me? Barn, you're a wonderful father, a loving husband, a hard worker, one heck of a little bowler. <laughs> but, Barn, none of that counts on an aptitude test. You got the lowest score, pal. The lowest score?